Hey everybody, I gotta tell you, it's Slay the Spire. I've been ripping it up on the Nintendo Switch. Don't be jealous. I've been, uh, I, I haven't won A20 since the run where I won A20 on Switch, but I've made it to the final boss fight, like the second A20 third floor boss fight, like eight times in a row. I had a wonderful run last night. Uh, where the key engine was actually brilliant. You know, the, the mantra buffed card. It had a great time, but I'm not saying we're going to do it here, but uh, we'll, we'll see what we get. Just goes to show you there's there's no wrong way to eat a Reese's. I believe that. A lot of people, they talk the talk. They don't walk the walk, you know? They eat a Reese's, they kind of just take a bite out of it. Not me. Not me. Wouldn't catch me dead just taking a bite out of my Reese's. I throw that tender peanut butter cup in a blender, watch it spin around to a beautiful oblivion, and then I drink it up. I drink your milkshake. I do. I'm sorry. What am I talking about? I don't know. I'm just happy to be here. Can we kill you? Nine damage. <clears throat> four energy. Nine damage, three energy. You're on 28. You're, you are going to die, but it's close. I can live with that. Um, I actually really like a Reach Heaven as well. I think, um, we don't need to build around Reach Heaven. How much damage? You do 10 damage? That's a slap in the face, man. 10 damage? That's just, that's a slap in the face. We're gonna take 9 here. Um, honestly, the best way to finish this off is to do that. Even though Reach Heaven is also fairly sizable from a damage standpoint. I hate taking the damage, but it's not that bad. Sneko Oil is nice. I think a Perseverance hits the spot. We don't need to build around Reach Heaven, is what I was going to say. I think you send the first one and hold the, the second one. I think we're going to have to do a little bit more damage to make sure we get you here. Let me see. We pop this. You're at 30. We're at 3 energy. Yeah, we got you. It's close, but we got you. Hey, maybe only because we played that... Uh, no, thank you. Ye yes. Um, maybe only because we played that flying sleeves early. 75 gold with no incoming shop. I will remove a card from my deck. Why don't you take that strike out of there? Now, we're coming up, I mean, this fight always sucks, I think, but we're coming up to an interesting situation here, uh, which is deciding whether we want to try to fight three elites, which is a little bit ambitious, uh, or if we, oh, you gotta love this, man, you gotta love this right here, or if you, uh, you want to play it a little safer. And I gotta say, I, I don't really understand why I would choose to play it safe right now, except that it is nice to also get an upgraded eruption there. But I, I think with all the with all the potions we have right now, we should give it a try. Hold this this time. I think it's I think it's valuable enough. Now do we want to snack OI? I don't think so. I think if, if we're gonna snack OI, the I uh, probably should have played a defend, huh? <clears throat> if we're going to snack OI, the best time to do it... ...is probably when we have a Reach Heaven. But it could screw us up pretty substantially. But we're not going to use, like, another potion here. So you gotta, you gotta use your noggin, you gotta use your brain. It made it more expensive. Which is a slap in the face. This, honest, I don't know what else to say except that it's a slap in the face. But check this out. Check this out, okay? We're gonna, um, we're gonna eruption. But let me, let me look at it for a second. That's gonna be twenty damage. This will do. Okay, that's fine. So we're gonna. I don't think we're gonna kill you. So let's do it like this. I'm, I'm accepting that I'm gonna take twenty this turn, and that's just the cost of doing business. Yeah, especially because we can't play any other attacks. So we're actually only taking 10. We really want to draw our through violence. I appreciate it more than you could possibly understand. 
Uh, and then we want to get out of this stance as soon as possible. And, you know, mission pretty much accomplished. We, we actually did totally fine on this fight, assuming that we draw another attack in a, in a reasonable time frame. Are we ready to fight our next elite? I would say the answer to that question is probably. I don't think I can kill you. You can laugh all you want. Crescendo. 16, but then we can't play that. So I guess we'll just take zero. That's more like it. Fire potion, prayer wheel. Do we care about a master reality? Not at the present moment. I think it's a skip, <clears throat> believe it or not. This sucks. Uh, so we're kind of, we're, we're locked in here for the time being. I do want to see, like, if I use the fire potion... Eruption, flying sleeves. I think we'll we'll smoke you. We could kill one pretty easily with crush joints, flying sleeves. Leave this alive and play a defend. Or if you wanted to get freaky, you could do. Yeah, I think I'm willing to try this honestly. Doesn't really matter which of these you play. Now we're going to be double weakened. So that's going to stink. But. It does suck that we're still taking three. But life goes on. I'm really hoping we get a potion here. This this could have gone so much worse, by the way. Meditate is, is really nice to bring the Reach Heavens back, I think. And then I'll take a Protect just to, just to save us in situations where we don't get that Dream Draw. So this is good. Um, the nicest play would be on turn two. We're not, uh, we are going to get it, actually. The nicest play, well, no, we didn't quite get it. <laughs> it would have been, uh, meditate and reach heaven. Then we could reach heaven, meditate, reach heaven, but, so we know we're, we're very likely to draw meditate next turn. That's important. If that's important, then you should do this. Because in theory... Although it's a long shot, this could... We, we could get close to killing you. Wow, we didn't get Meditate, which is like something we essentially relied on to stay alive. That's just... I mean, I don't know how else to say it. It's pretty much just bad luck. Um, flying Sleeves will do 16. I it, it makes sense to me to minimize the amount of damage taken here to whatever extent possible so we can fit in that next Elite fight. 18 plus 16. Math works out in my world. Thread and needle, very nice, and a weak potion as well. Now, flurry of blows, not really what I want. Empty mind, kind of. Um, I think drawing faster is important, so that we can, if possible, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a shot, man. So if possible, we can draw into reach heaven and through violence faster. I, I do think it matters a lot. This is spicy, okay? You might look at this as if, like, we're not exactly crushing the game right now. But if I'm being straight up with you, I kind of disagree. I kind of feel like we are crushing the game right now. We want a... We can only take one card back. I think in that case we want as good as Reach Mind or Reach Heaven is we want Empty Mind for the extra energy and draw so we can draw through the dazes eventually. But if not on this turn. Um I I think this is going super super well right now. Let's exit stance just to be safe. Store that protect for later. We took a hyper aggressive approach on this floor and yet we're we're sitting, you know, in the clear. Let's do, um, let's do Protect. And I know this seems a little crazy, but we'll bring back a Meditate. We're just trying to draw into Eruption and then, like, you know, cards that do damage. It would be extremely unfortunate for us to not get a single attack. There we go. We got, we got a single attack. Toy Ornithopter, also pretty nice. I feel like a second meditate is not as good as just, uh... And by the way, there's something interesting to be said, right? About, like, 
a meditate into a worship. You worship, meditate, then your next turn you get the triple damage. And it, it is interesting. But I, I don't know. I feel like we, we got something that's working out okay right now. I don't really want to mess with it. I, who's our boss? It's you? If it weren't you, I would be way more likely... Hmm, to, to take the waffle. I still think I'm gonna take the waffle. I'm just a little scared about the, the fights we got coming up. If we got big, like, AoE fights, we got problems there. So, I think this was sensible. And a little max HP, like, it never hurt anybody. Maybe we're a little overkill here, but... Toy Ornithopter, by the way, is also, like, really... Uh, valuable. We need to upgrade some cards, that's a given, but... Toy Ornithopter is also really valuable for if we can get, like, a potion belt and then carry a bunch of potions into our into our boss fight. I do think Empty Fist is good. Um, I... I... Look, here's the thing. If we get a Brilliance, I will probably try to take a bunch of cards like Prostrate and, and Worship as well if they show up. For now, I don't think it's that relevant because it shows up at a common level. We should have the ability to go back and get it if we desire. You're doing 11 damage. Well, I don't love it, but we're... we're I mean, I can't deny we, we've... I'm not going to say that our deck is so exceptional that we have, like, no problems, because I don't think that that's true. You got to start there, unfortunately. And I don't know really what I was thinking, honestly. We are taking zero, which is nice. We could have we could have just saved that crescendo maybe for this turn and been a little bit better off. You're not doing any damage anyway, though, so who who freaking cares, man? Who freaking cares? Put you on low here. Um But yeah, our, our deck is uh it's it's chilling right now. It's doing great work. We're taking no damage. Obviously, a wreath of flame works nicely with the uh, flying sleeves. Foreign influence has the power to just be like pretty good, but I think it's a skip, and I think a carve reality is, is nice enough. And let's just see what this is: purple fire spirits. Why don't you go ahead and uh, why don't you go ahead and take a basic strike out of my deck? We're at full HP, which is not ideal, but we do have a, a weakness potion, which is nice. So the eruption. The eruption hit is the best play here. I think we need attacks. That's That would be the thing that I would say is next up on the list. And I do like a Vigilance get it started here. We also need to upgrade our Crush Joints. That's, that's a, a big given as well. Let's throw this Weakness Potion at you. We'll do an Eruption. Certainly a Defend. Our, our thread and needle is toasted, but whatever. Let's do a Flying Sleeves, a Carve Reality, a Meditate, and let's bring back... Honestly, like, a, let's hope we draw through violence here. Let's bring back a Crush Joints for a little guaranteed vulnerability. We got super lucky, but I'm, I'm happy to see it, obviously. Um, I'm willing to take 8 damage to get out in front of this. We should have done it earlier, obviously, but I'm not even going to take 9 damage, um, by the way. Let's do it like this. You're at 68 HP. Just goes to show you, I thought we were in a, a terrible spot. <laughs> I thought our, our damage was, uh, was really bad, but we're like on turn 2 and we've done 200 damage to you. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'm going to hit you. Um... I mean, we're really just waiting. Yeah, I I'm not going to mess around with possibly taking more damage than is necessary and screwing us over long term. Like, we're so much better off just waiting for, you know, Reach Heaven to show up. And then on our next turn, we know we're getting through violence. And then we know we're getting the smite. Why don't you go ahead and hit me for two? I'll guarantee that we have an eruption in hand, which means you're dead. So this is all very good. Um, but I think we need more killing power. Uh, I mean, it's really, it's really tempting to just take that devotion.
get a 60 damage through violence. Spirit Shield is really good. I, I'm not insulting that, but I think we can make a devotion work here. Uh, and, and no longer gaining gold. Double the effective potion maybe is interesting with Toy Ornithopter too, but I'm, I'm okay with this. So, I think we, we now look at the meta game. And I say, how are things going? It seems like they went pretty well. We could do double elites with a bunch of question marks here, which is kind of like a nice, happy medium. There is a three elite path, but that's okay. We want to ensure... We wanted to draw some wrath there, by the way. Um, we we want to ensure... That we're getting really like, okay, this is going to be nasty. Hmm. Save the protect. I know this seems backwards, but like save the protect because you got dazes coming. At least this guarantees we can get block on a turn. So I think we can crescendo. Flying sleeves at least for some damage. <laughs> this is not good. <laughs> protect, miracle, meditate. Uh, what do we want in hand? Honestly, I think we'll take a Protect back just in case. It's alright. This is this is what Toy Ornithopter is like built for. Now we just need Eruption and Through Violence on the same turn. You're pretty much screwed. We're not there. Um, instead, we, we know we have to play this. I think we just get that out there. What are we drawing? I think we gotta hit you. We, it we would have taken too much. This is where we want to be. 32. We can always just store the through violence and hope to get lethal out of it. Oh, we could also just um, get 10 divinity and just destroy you. Or 10 mantra. Um, I, I think a bowling bash can be pretty sick, honestly. But I, I think a deceive reality is important. I think a third eye is really good, too. I, I didn't go into that intending to get both of those, but... 21 damage immediately. That's that's rough. That's not easy. Never mind we got there. It sucks to not play a Reach Heaven, but the Divinity is going to be like our... That's going to be our ace in the hole there. This also sucks, um, like a lot. Let's make sure we're taking no damage. I want to I see all of these. Yeah, I want to see all of these. Right now, we're, we're breaking even. You're doing 14 damage. Let's... Let's start with this, and then we'll actually hit you. I know, it's it seems surprising. You're doing 14 damage. We're gonna take some. We're gonna take four. That's not that bad. Let me say the obvious. It's not that good either. But now, if we wait one more turn... We will enter uh, the Wrath or uh, Divinity Stance. And I think this is actually going to be like a, a, a very functional setup for us. Like, wh like, why play anything else here? I think this is going a lot better than it looks. The potion's nice. I do think now we can take like a prostrate. Um... A flurry of blows. I, I'm wary of it. Just like, let's take one. It's upgraded. Let's take. Well, don't even sweat it. Don't even think about it. Duplicate a card in your deck. <clears throat> I'm gonna duplicate our upgraded prostrate. I really want to pick up a. Uh, I really want to pick up a Brilliance. I basically, I mean, you should have known, not to say this is your fault or there's even anything to be at fault for, um, but you should have known as soon as I said we had a run. Hold on, we, we, we maybe didn't need to play that. You're doing 24? Okay, we, we just take advantage of it like that. As soon as I said I had a good Brilliance run on the Switch last night, you should have known. You should have known what that means. And what that means is that every run, you know, for the next amount of time that sits in my short-term memory, every single run is going to be trying to absolutely just shoehorn <laughs> a, 
of Brilliance Mantra run in. That will take us to Divinity. We, I hope we don't have to use a Fire Potion to kill you. So this is Divinity. Very nice. Um, hit you with one of these. 27 damage, huh? huh? Well, we gotcha. Not bad. Potion? No potion. I think we could do better. Like, some cards... That's a tough call. Um, remove all strikes, receive five bites, lose 23 max HP. No, it's too many. We've already removed enough bites. I think it's not sensible. Okay, so this blows. We're probably in a very dangerous situation where we could easily die. Um, so what I'm thinking is like, what if instead of dying though, we just didn't? Now, how are we gonna make that happen? It's a wonderful question. You should start here. Man, that's, uh, it, the question just keeps getting more and more wonderful. 18, you're doing, we're living. We're living for it. How are we getting out of this? Well, I'm thinking that it probably involves this toy ornithopter. Uh, I'm thinking it probably involves hitting you. I'm thinking it probably involves erupting and then hitting you again. Um, and then, as your, your blocks are pretty important, but I also think it's important if you just die. We know we got an exit stance, okay? The only way we exit stance is via this. Could we kill you? We could. That would kill us in the process, but good, good to know it's just simmering around there. You're doing 25, we got 29 HP. Literally lived because of Toy Ornithopter. That's that's special. Now you're doing 27 damage. Let's hit you with one of those. Let's hit you with one of these, and one of these, and one of these. Can you believe it? Now the boot is not really what I wanted. Dex Potion seems pretty helpful though. <laughs> I'm happy to be alive. Ain't it good to be alive, to feel the sun across your face? Give me prostrate, okay. In spite of how scary this floor has been, and it is getting even scarier, apparently. Um, but in spite of that, I actually, you're doing 31 damage, come on, man. I'd love to play that carve reality, it just can't be done. In spite of that, I'm actually feeling like like pretty okay. Next turn we're gonna enter Divinity. I, I think we, we made a necessary pivot to the deck here. And whether or not it's necessary is I guess really the, the million dollar question, but if we're gonna exit this, we might as well exit with double damage still intact. Oh, whoops, my mistake. Either way, we're pulling out of this. How how do we rebuild? We need, at, at some point, to survive this run. I am -o. Um, And that's 17, thankfully. We're going to need to upgrade some cards. The way that we do that is by getting taking no damage. That should be like a given. But then also getting like a lot of potions from combat that are backing us up. I don't think we can make a fasting work. I think an upgraded evaluate, though, is kind of sick. Dex, Dex looking a little thick. Juzu bracelet. All right, screw that side. We're, we're taking campfire side now. Where um, we got some very important upgrades. Meditate is a big one. Much more than double value from, from getting two cards. Next, if we, if we have the blessed ability to do so, we would very much enjoy upgrading uh, crush joints. I think you can't play it. Like, it's tough. 18 damage. We got, the, Dude, the thread and needle is like, is saving our lives. I, I'm skeptical that a reach heaven early is the play. So we're at 15. Play this. Play your meditate. Um, I would say bring back... 
prostrate. And uh, let's also say... We, we got to do more damage. Let, let's also say uh, flying sleeves, just in case we happen to draw an eruption. Which is not unlikely. Okay, so we will make sure you die. Um, you're doing 22. We have 8... I'm okay taking one damage and keeping our retained uh, defense. We need to go off here. We can't go off here. I think I think you got to pop this now, and it, I'm happy to have the HP working for us. Um, devotion is valuable. I want to play the eruption, but it's, it's not the right time. You're doing 32. We got 21. Might as well play that one. So we're taking no damage this turn. On our next turn, we gotta destroy you. I think we're learning something very valuable here as well, by the way. And that valuable piece of intel is that... Um, well, that was really good, man. Is... Uh, we need, uh, like, more attacks in this deck. The draw is actually working out pretty nicely. And I think once we get the... Man, we actually are doing really well here. Um, once we get the uh, the mantra, or devotion, I should say, off the ground, everything starts to work out a little easier. Conclude is a really nice card. I'm just worried that maybe we're getting a little a little ahead of ourselves. I don't know if an establishment, and this is this is growth for me. I don't know if establishment really fits into our our win condition that much. We're taking some very spicy plays here. You know what? Let's let's get devotion popping slightly faster. I'm telling you, if brilliance shows up, <laughs> all we need is is brilliance to show up. And we are we are loving life. We are in love with life. Let's store these. Okay. This it, look, it's a lot of damage coming out, but we're we're kind of built to withstand some degree of damage. Let's see if we get like a, a sick defend here. I'm just gonna hand a greed ya. And it's not uh It's not that spectacular, but it's nice damage out there. We like it. We love it. Do we want some more of it? It uh, almost uniformly, yes. Let's let's get this out here. So, we're one prostrate away from Divinity. We didn't quite get there. Surely, you're actually dead, though, right? <clears throat> yes. Potion, no potion. I'll take a second talk to the hand. On long boss fights, that could make all the difference. Heal me. Heal me. Heal me. Um... <laughs> I am willing to... Oh, because we have Omamori. Let's go. Thank you, Brain. Okay, so this is going to be very scary. But this is a, an insanely exceptional draw early. Next turn, we'll probably get Divinity, you know, one way or another. So we're taking 10. Is honestly not that bad. We can't enter eruption here. But we, uh, no, we can't. We're in divinity, though, which is super nice. So I'll give you one of those, give you one of those, give you one of these. Might seem kind of like minor. It's tempting. Um, but I, I disagree. We take another 10. But I, I really like actually where we're at. We, uh, you know what? We probably can kill you. All right, this is where we need things to start popping. We could get Divinity next turn pretty easily. We want to retain... You're, I was going to say, are you doing something? <laughs> we want to retain a lot of defense. As many, as many defense as possible. We got to hit you with these. Um, we are going to get a Stance Exeter next turn, so we do better with Conclude here. Okay, and we have Divinity. Very nice. Now, I feel like 
I do want you to still get to talk to the hand, but I think that maybe on this turn it's just important that we survive. So let's do something like this. A little 13 damage for you. A little 45 damage for you. A little insight never hurt. Prostrate to set you up for a future turn. And that's that's the end of our ability to... Uh, that's very nice. It's the end of our ability to, to set ourselves up here, but you're doing, what, 41 damage? We're taking a very small amount of damage, but not dying. I think we'll bring Perseverance. Uh, we might as well, I guess, in that case, bring Prostrate back. But I, I think we're... Oh, you know what? That's going to give us triple damage next turn. Okay. We're not there yet, but the Prostrate will take you there. We have one attack, which is kind of a slap in the face. We should have played our Empty Mind first. <laughs> Alas, we did not. Um, you're doing 31 damage. We might as well start there. Like, it... And look at that, 31 block. I'm not saying we're in here, by the way. I'm just saying like it, it's, actu it's going okay. I'm giving it everything I got to get it to that point. You're summoning enemies again, huh? It's all right, what are we on? We're on nine. So a good insight into a prostrate would get us there, but I don't think we are going to get there. However, I don't think we can quite start going off on you yet. So let's let's just get out in front of this. Quick little insight. A, a through violence is a beautiful card. That's a beautiful card. Energy's going just fine. You're not doing so much damage that I feel like I need to spend that much energy to get out in front of you. Although, <laughs> on the other hand, 12, 27, 36, you're doing, we got 37, you're doing 41. Next turn is going to be very similar. Although, look at that. Okay, very, very nice. Can you sense the problem with this? I'm sure you can. We don't have enough draw. Um, we can at least kill you. Empty mind, just for some potential block. And look at that, we're in there. Um, let's get one of those out there. We might as well play an evaluate for the future. And all I'm saying... That's divinity again. If this is like the awkward part of the run where we pivoted from one archetype to the other... We're feeling really good now, because we made it through the second floor, which might be when things are at their scariest. Blasphemy seems not relevant. Devil form... I, I also feel like we never really struggled for energy there. I, I think, if anything, we struggled for draw. So I'll, I'll take a spirit shield. I do think it enhances the deck. Um, so this is more energy when you exit calm. This is set yourself up better earlier. I actually think we need the relics, especially with Omamori blocking the curse. Lantern, Sundial, Captain's Wheel. I'm not against it. Now, Timekeeper's gonna suck. I think we have to go Elite Heavy. I see this left path is, is fairly Elite Heavy. I, I genuinely think that's the only way we get out in front of this. And I'm calling a loss, just for the record. And I... People might say, you know, you always call for a loss. All I feel like I have to say on that is that I also have lost every A20 run we've done on camera with this character. So, like, I, I feel like this calling a loss in this situation is not necessarily imprudent. <laughs> feel like there's actually a fairly sensible sort of explanation there. Um, this is, it's, it's not the least confident I've ever been heading, uh, it, you know, up to this stage of the game. We had the exit divinity there. You can, you know, be mad if you want, but, um, but I've been surprised before as well. Wow, you needed to crescendo that, but whatever. Nothing there sells me. Um, an empty body comes close for sure. I, I'm really thinking, like, we need... And it's a it's a very positive situation to actually be in. But, like, what do we... Okay, hold on, you're doing 20. I guess we have to play our safety here. That's not so bad. Um, what do we need? 
We need more hitting power. That's one thing. Might as well. Um, I really like a like a spirit shield, honestly, but I think an eruption will work here too. We need more hitting power, and something that pays off of of mantra would be nice as well. And the the beautiful thing is that I think we have like multiple solutions. Multi let me rephrase: multiple problems get solved by the same solution. You need to get freaking destroyed on this turn, dude. Well, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> we did put up a lot of block, though. Hmm. Hmm. Obviously, I'd love to just, like, double talk to the hand, yeah, but... What's coming up next? Anyway, but like, you know what I'm gonna say. Give me a devotion. Is based, or, uh, again, not a devotion. Uh, give me a... Uh, give me a brilliance. I don't even know if we have the money to afford it and we can't get any more money, which is why I'm being a little cagey on that, but, like... I think we'll play this. Let me look at this. You're doing 20. Yeah, sure. Well, you're doing 20 with the hit, I should say. Um, and then a Perseverance. I'll, I'll, I was going to say I'll take one, but that won't be necessary. That was really good. Um, we really want to see that Brilliance. And if we can't get it, then life goes on. But I, man, oh man, it would hit the spot. This is just a question of like what you want to keep up. <laughs> um, I guess we'll play the protect because the perseverance gets pretty good pretty fast. Oh, and then we just bring the protect back. Nice. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Like, I, I, I guess the the way we'd be most likely to find it is via an elite. So I'm 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 hopeful that we can get to an elite. I'm hopeful that's that's on the list. You are doing thirty three damage. This would take us to seventeen, twenty seven, and we get to scry. I like it. I like it. I don't love it. I think we can we can dump that. 27, you're doing 33. I don't mind taking one damage, even though it compromises our... Uh, and it won't be one damage, because we'll just do that. Um, either way, I still didn't mind taking one, but... Okay, so you're doing 27 damage. We're already up there, which is nice. Let's make sure we're hitting you. <clears throat> We do start slow. Like, I, I would say this is a run where, like, our acceleration is kind of low. This might be where we use our energy potion, by the way. So, right now, you're putting out 57 damage. If I kill you, but I'm in double damage stance, then you're putting out 57 damage. So, that's, like, a, a change that I'm not a huge fan of. However, I think if I... Hit you, hit you, play this, we're at 18, I mean, you're still doing 35, I don't mind using an energy potion to take us to here, and then at least, like, doing a lot more damage to you, we're taking 8, I think, not really that bad, all things considered, and we're one turn away from divinity, Man, I'm, I'm so freaking close to getting you this turn, but that's all right. The Crescendo, I mean, we're going to be in Divinity next turn, so that's a great start in and of itself. But um, And Conclude uh, actually kills you, so easy enough. Potion, please? Nope. Uh, second Reach Heaven is too much, I think. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy where we are. I will not. And I know it, like this has killed some of my runs recently off camera. I just have... I have some negativity about it. I'm willing to lose my not upgraded crush joints. And this is the run. The run all comes down to whether or not we can live through these elites, in my opinion. I think it's important for me to hit you here. Even if you end up doing damage to us uh, as a result. We should have done this in a different order as well. But um, 
I think we we accept the limited damage there. And this is like, you know, fairy in a jar is kind of that's part of the game plan here as well. We'll Give me um We need to kill you. So give me a reach heaven. I'll take another prostrate as well, which if we draw the other prostrate, will come really close to getting us there. Um, actually, I think it would just get us there, but that's it, it's okay either way. Next turn, we'll have it. So we just... Uh, well, you know what? We're going to exit stance next turn then. So we might as well pop it like this. We're just trying to get maximum, you know, slow bonus. We're going to be in divinity this turn. Weak, but divinity. We're also going to be, believe it or not, possibly in Divinity on the next turn. 21? This, they did not even close to as much as I thought it would be. We get to hold this Perseverance, though, which is nice. One Prostrate equals Divinity this turn. Didn't get there. It's okay. It's okay. We, went, we played way too fast there. Unnecessarily fast. We take 12 damage. But we're going to have Divinity this turn. We have no block, <laughs> but we do have divinity. And remember, you got the slow bonus here, so we still have no block. We're going to hit you a lot, but we have no block. So we kind of have to play it like 126. Are you kidding me, man? 135. Let's go. The clutchest miracle of all time. Bag of prep seems incredible. Wish is almost like it. Like, it's tempting. Don't get me wrong. But now we're going to rest. I want upgrades, but... Bag of prep is pretty sick here. I think we should start with an empty mind. Let's, let's try it. Yes. Very good. Very good indeed. Um, we do still only have this defend. But we'll play it. Taking a small amount of damage. But nothing to... You know what? Taking no damage. More setup time for our divinity here. We love a reach heaven. Honestly, I think we just chill till the next episode. It's a big spirit shield, man. Like, that. that is... It's just nice. We're still waiting. We, we really need our devotion to get out there in order to make this run, like, workable. <laughs> but prior to devotion, we're, we're not running uh, that impressive of a deck, I would say. Love to see it, though. Look at that. We're five damage with every hit here as well because of the boot. This is like the one time I'm, I'm super stoked to have it. We're going to draw a through violence, which to me means you play your miracle, your insight. We got some extra energy off of that, too. You crescendo, play a smite, play a through violence. Might as well play an empty fist. Let's deceive reality slightly. Next turn, we're not overly concerned about hitting you we're much more concerned about just not taking damage ourselves and we're in divinity again which is not amazing but it is what it is there's not, there's not a whole lot you can do about it we're taking no damage let's get a safety in hand we might as well hit you we might as well hit you we might as well hit you look at that I mean, this. I'm hoping that this is kind of like what it's going to look like when we play the Timekeeper. I don't think that's the case, but this was an insanely great fight. Gurya strikes me... Oh, dude, Shuriken's kind of interesting. Gurya strikes me as, as not being too relevant, but... Like, I just have so many cards that need upgrading. <laughs> well, you know what? Okay, so right out of the gates... Might seem like a little weak here, but we actually are going to be in Divinity on turn two. Thanks to that. That allows us to do uh, one great attack. <laughs> Get another safety in hand and then uh, bail. So, again, we're very light on attacks. That's, that's, a big part of the, that's a big part of the problem here for me. I guess we should crescendo. Just so we can empty mind afterwards. Yeah, that was not too wise. Um... We're not exiting stance here, so we got to be a little cautious. So 21. Hold on. I, I think we'll probably... Like, you have talked to the hands on you. 
Where are we at? 36. Save the through violence until you can actually be in divinity, which will happen this turn. I mean, I'm being so quiet right now, but it's it's just because I'm thinking about, like, whether this run, in, in spite of what it looks like to me right now, wh whether this run has the, the means. And I think that it's going to get absolutely blown up by the Timekeeper. I think the Timekeeper is going to, like, I, I, I'm going to be... I'm going to be in a rough spot. But then I'm looking at my potion and I'm going, you know what? Maybe with a little potion action, there's a chance here. I think we're good on the prostrates, honestly. Um, so let's, uh, as much as strength would be nice, there's got to be some upgrades here that hit the spot. I'm crazy, man. I'm crazy. We're taking the strength upgrade. I don't even think that's part of like our win condition at all. Go ahead, take my gold, please. Um, huh, 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 huh. Upgrade all cards is is so tempting. <laughs> the problem is, if you like, this is bad. Okay. Um, upgrade all cards would give us 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 upgraded cards. We can no longer heal. But would we ever take damage again? I don't know. But this it's nice to kind of have the ability to... You know what? Then dodge the elite. Take four of my max HP, we can't heal anyway. And then, I mean, we can't heal, so we might as well... They, look, this might have screwed us, I'll acknowledge that. But I think that it also gave us a huge boost to our deck. There is a, an enormous catch, we need to never take damage. That's not great. And remember, that with the Timekeeper, what's the game plan? Only play cards when it's relevant to play cards. So, that's very nice and, and very relevant. I want to... 32... We need... I hate to do it, but it is what it is. Am I taking one damage here? I am. Am I willing to spend my Miracle and a Protect to not take one damage? I'm not. Or my Energy Potion, for that matter. It's just there, there's better opportunities to apply the value there. Um, I think on this turn, yeah, we would be okay to pop Prostrate. Then we get two awesome damage dealers there. We can Deceive Reality. I would love to play two cards. <laughs> Just so we got more room to work with next time. So you know what? Let's play... Um, I'm, you're going to laugh at me. I'm going to play... And how much strength do you get off of this? Two. Okay. I'm going to play a safety miracle, man. Because that's just it's, it's just the way we do it. Okay. Not bad. Now we get huge block. Just from hanging out. Um, I think we like that enough. Let's let's get three attacks out there so we get a strength upgrade. We need to we we do want to do enough damage to you um, that you don't scale like crazy before we get you past your halfway point. So th there is that for us. Let's draw. We got seven cards to work with. We're gonna go. Obviously, we're gonna go pretty deep on the blocks here. Um, Twenty-seven. If it's if that's as good as it gets versus 45, I mean, I think we we have an obligation. I, yes, I know. I know, okay? And then I'll add another 12 block on top by doing that. So we're taking one. We only have two cards to work with next turn, which is horrible. And we're going to be in Divinity. So we're going to kind of waste the Divinity. Um, 
unless we want to hit you for 99. But it's not about killing you. We got to remember we got to kill the boss after this. So I think we'll play it like so. 21. So we take 15 damage. Not great. This should be the hardest boss, though. I know how it sounds. Just chill out, okay? Four. This will give us Divinity next turn, which is a great time to use that through violence. Now, Deceive Reality. 36. 23. 31. Okay, next turn, we're going to hit you hard. Thank you for taking a turn off. That helps me more than you could ever know. I would love to play seven cards here. Man, I would love to kill you next turn. Man, I would love to kill you next turn, man. Man, oh, oh God, oh man, oh God, oh man, oh God. I don't think I'm going to do it. But I think we owe it to ourselves to try by just keeping, this, keeping ourselves in crescendo. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get there. This is good, though. And then we got so much coming next turn. Let me look at this for a sec. Give me a meditate. Um, I'll, I'll take a spirit shield and a prostrate. Looking for that triple damage play. By the way, I think our fairy in a jar won't work. That That's not lost on me. I'm not sitting here going like, hey, don't worry about it. At least we have fairy in a jar. I'm sitting here going, this, this is it. So I think we'll get a smite in hand. Because when we get to divinity, which will happen next turn, the more high value attacks we have, the more likely you are to, to eat it forever. Um, you are doing 52 damage this turn. I don't think I can kill you. So in that case, we need to put up some block. Oh, 72, 60. Just, just chill, because we got five cards. 72, 60. That's 132. You'd be at 108. Sixty-nine. Nice. Thirty-nine. Him, him, him. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Really? Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Phone calculator, please. This, this is. It's exactly the right number of damage and exactly the right number of cards. 72. I'm using my phone calculator. Plus 39. Plus 30. Plus 39. Plus 60. Equals 240. And that's... As long as you play the eruption last, because we don't want to get out of triple damage. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 cards. My god. 1, 2, 3... Ah, uh, and we, hey, we even got the strength bonus from Shuriken. What was I thinking? Okay, okay, we play literally one power. That's not that bad here. Okay, just breathe. We've made it to the third floor, boss. With some great stuff, I might add. Block is so important, and we have very little of it right now. Um... So our first turn is going to be a little wonky, but check this out. You know you gotta erupt here. So which means you you can play as many cards as you want. I just had to remind myself of that. <laughs> you don't have to slow it down on the blocks here. Let's hit you good. 25. I mean, obviously this is not going to do 25 on the on the flip side. I was going to play a Conclude. I think instead we Empty Fist. Flurry of Blows. Obviously we Defend. I think we Meditate as well. And I think... Um, we'll take both. This allows us to hold the Flurry of Blows. The next most important step for us is uh, some Talk to the Hands. I mean, I, I'm not mad. We're actually gaining a lot of strength here. 
off of Shuriken. Which is really, really valuable. Safety takes us to 22. All right, let's let's hold the perseverance. Then might as well play it just in case my math is wrong. Um, we need to talk to the hand. Flying sleeves is only six blocks, so we might go a little higher for now. You're doing 32. I'll, I'll still play it. It doesn't get exhausted, so we we're still looking for our devotion and all of our uh, prostrates as well. But that's fine. Uh, this is good. It's very important. We know we want to see a devotion. Let's just not see the Ascender's Bane. And everything else, I, I feel... I, I, I actually think we might do it. I know you're going to get stronger, but it, it's fine. 24? We're already there. Kind of. This would take us to 16. We just need to add 8 on top of it. I can't play that. Okay, that's fine. You, you play your Perseverance, or you choose to take one damage. And I think that taking one is fine here to keep the, the retained cards in hand. Okay, you're doing 40. That's that's a lot, but it's okay, because check this out. We're going to Prostrate. We're just going to start with an Insight. Flurry of Blows helps out a lot. Carve Reality, get that Smite in hand. Let's uh, Eval. Look where we stand. 28, we need 12 extra block. Plenty of ways to get there. One more card gives us a strength upgrade. I think I think we're gonna do it. Nobody is more surprised than me. I not this is something you gotta acknowledge. I never call for the victory. I always say we're gonna eat it. If we could hold this through violence too, oh man. Like we could kill you, but if we could just hold the through violence instead. And I think we can. So we're, hold on, hold on. This is important. I think we kill you with this. Then we, yeah, okay, that's fine. We meditate. And we want like where are we at here? We're gonna be on we're gonna be on five. Five uh divinity, that is. Five mantra, whatever it's called. Let's stay safe. It would be nice for the prostrate to work, but if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Let's take a spirit shield just to back us up as well. You're doing 44 damage. Next turn we're gonna be in divinity, so hold this. 38 damage, 44 damage. We might as well hit you with something. No, we might as well add another retained... Uh, oh, but we're going to overdraw here. 22, though. That's an, Oh, my God. We got two through violences. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Okay, hold on. We got a knock on the door. I say thank you. I say thank you for the knock on the door. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, oh, wow. Just the press already? I'm not ready to stop playing yet, though. We did it, but I'm not ready to stop playing yet. The If there's anything on this run that I'm, I'm proud of myself for, it's honestly... I'll, I'll go back to the... I'll go back to the stats here. Run history. It's literally this. Uh, this right here. Floor 47. We chose not to fight for a rare relic for the first time ever. And instead... Upgraded our whole deck. Except for Ascender's Bane. Oh, wow. I didn't even... I n Never on this run. Until... That... Triple damage... Uh, through violence showed up, did I consider that this would be the, the A20 win? So, uh, I would safely assume that there's probably more Slay the Spire coming. I know I said we were going to do it until we got to this point. But, like, for the time being, I gotta say, like, I'm I'm pretty pleased. I mean, you can see there's, like, a lot of runs here. Um, but I don't think we really started playing the Watcher until maybe, like, August? Like, the start of August? Six weeks to go from... You know, no knowledge to A20. 
feels amazing. I feel, I feel great right now. I couldn't have done it without you. And at the end of the day, we made it work with kind of a Divinity deck, which is surprising. If you enjoyed the episode in the series, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya!